world champion, Steph Gilmore. So let's not waste any time. Let's dive straight in. So Steph Gilmore, one of my favorite female surfers, and the reason being is she is so stylish and every turn looks like she's having fun. Yeah. So what is one of the underlying factors that makes it look easy for her? Well, I always say that surfing is like riding a bicycle. There's yep. two basic ways to turn them. You've got to lean when you're going fast and you've got to twist when you're going slow. So Steph's on a, looks like an island trip and she's riding a 20. But she's just gone to the bottom of the wave and you can see this beautiful lean. So if this was vertical, she's leaning over in about 45 degrees, mm -hmm. hand leaning over and touching the board. So because she's leaning over, it means she's surfing off her rail. Yeah. A lot of other ladies when they surf, they tend to surf very, very flat. Okay. So because Steph uses her rails, she gets more speed, more drive and more acceleration out of the board. Okay. However, if you surf flat, the friction on the bottom of the board makes the board slow down. Right. Okay. Then coming up, her body is nice and straight, so there's some nice extension on that. Look at how high the back arm is up. Yeah. So if you are ever doing ballroom dancing with someone, you've got to keep a straight back and keep your elbow up. Yep. It makes you lighter on your feet. So already Steph looks um, light on her feet. She looks like a ballroom dancer, so she's looking graceful. Yeah. And you've seen ballroom dancers move like that, so you can associate that that gracefulness look to her. Mm. Surfing. I think you can even feel that. Like if you're watching now and you're and you're and you're sat down, like you can almost sit down and feel heavy. Yep. And the, the second you do this, you actually you actually well, feel if you, lighter. If you want to get out of the seat. chair, you're gonna you're gonna lift up. Yeah. So you can see Steph's lifting the body, extending the back, making herself lighter to go up the wave. Mm. So you can appreciate the heavy down, the light lifts, yeah. which is a compression and extension. Now. Pay attention, and I like this. Oh, we dipped, dipped, dipped out. Yeah. What? Almost every turn it looks like she's smiling. That, that board is almost pointing straight up at the sky. Yep, so she's on rail. Now the reason why her surfing looks powerful is because she surfs on rail. Mm -hmm. If your board was flat, the spray would go out flat, you wouldn't see it. But when you're on rail, the spray goes skyward. Okay, so, how do you get the board on the rail like that? Well, when you go up, you've got to press on your heel edge to roll the board, mm. okay? So you'll notice that her hand is tilted sideways. Yeah, and this is something which you've uh, spoken to me a lot about in the past with, with my surfing, and that is yeah. that is turning those wrists. So bringing that, that pinky finger yeah. up so that it, it turns that board. Yeah, so yeah. if I make you do this, you almost feel like you're falling over backwards. Yep. That's engaging the heel. Yeah. Then she uses central fugal force to turn. Yeah. Now, something that you will notice is that her back is still straight and her legs are going out sideways. Yeah. So through that turn, she's weightless. Okay, and being weightless gives her speed and acceleration through the turn. So an absolutely beautiful turn. And then look at the lunge. A back knee. Okay, so a lot of that weight is centered over her front foot which means that she's got balance, mm -hmm. she's got acceleration and speed out of the turn, and she's exhibiting control. Look at the hands, where are they? Yeah. Have you ever been mountain biking or done motocross? If you're going down like a, a, a really bumpy hill or something, you'll have your hands up with the elbows up so that you've got shock absorbers, yeah. and your knees will be soft. So her technique for me is, is flawless. You very rarely see other ladies surfing with so much pizzazz and style. Well, that would be why she's seven times world champion. Exactly. Um, yeah. Check this out. Oh. oh. So you can see the smile on her face. Like, she's smiling all the time when she's surfing. Okay, so I want to show you something. If at that point there, if I took a circle and I put a circle in her hands, okay, so if she was driving a car, if she wanted to turn uh that way she'd have to raise that steering yeah. wheel up that way to turn it yeah correct mm. right so let's see what her hands do let's see if she turns whoop one hand up 
one hand down. So can you see what her hand has done to that steering wheel? Yeah. It's kind of like it's turned it. Look at the spray as well coming off of that. It was absolutely beautiful. Right now, oh, there's the lean on the bottom turn. This bottom turn is, is amazing. Okay. So what she's done is she's got one hand down, one hand up. So now it's the mm. opposite turning of the car steering wheel. Yep. And interest. So with her, with her gaze, and, and what I like here is, if that was, if that was, you're you're going to say chin up. But I'm, what what I'm thinking now is she looks really relaxed in her eyes as she's about to get back up that wave. She's looking really relaxed. If that was me, I'd be like, what about am I going to hit? What about am I going to hit? So one of the big keys for me there is that she is really relaxed in those eyes, which then increases her. Her peripheral, peripheral vision. vision yeah she's got like really broad peripheral vision because her eyes are relaxed mm. if you are focused on something your eyes narrow yeah. and you lose sight of the whole way so it's important to be smiling relaxed with a wider peripheral vision when mm. you surf and it looks I'm, I'm not sure but it looks as if she's about to take a breath in as she comes up okay look at the hand there's no tension in the hand on the lift now the hand changes position see how it goes from flat notice yeah. this back arm over here from a flat position, she lifts it up. That gets her from her toe edge onto a heel edge. Yep. Okay. Now, what is past the coffee? So, we referenced the, the term past, past the coffee. You might hear this in a lot of the other videos that we do. Past the coffee is it's a simple, I suppose, trigger word in a way to encourage us to bring the back arm forwards so that we end up looking down the wave rather than side onto the wave. So it gets us looking forward. So the passing the coffee is bringing the back hand forwards so it twists at the hips to bring us facing forward. So if you hear us say pass the coffee, that's what we mean. So she's about to do a turn. From her back arm, she looks and she tries to eyeball, where's the foam? Still smiling. And then she passes the coffee cup to the foam. So look at the coordination yeah. between the eye a lot of people do that same turn and they flick the coffee cup away. Yeah. And they throw their turn away. So she super, super, super stylish. No tension in the turn. And um, look at the smile on her face. <laughs> do you know why? Because her technique's that on point. She's yeah. feeling so much. And it brings nothing but joy. They well, say only a surfer knows the feeling. Yeah. Man. And also she's relaxed. It's, 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 it's hard to smile when you're tense. So if, if you do, it looks awkward. Because she's relaxed, she's flowing with water. She's not yeah. fighting it. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why she is seven times world champion, is yeah. the amount of flow and fun she exhibits in the surfing. So, mm. well done, Steph. Absolutely love you. I think, I think later on there is a takeoff. Can we just see if there's a takeoff there? Because it was a particularly... Oh, that was the end of the video. No, I was wrong. There wasn't, there wasn't a takeoff. Sorry to get your uh, hopes up there, but what has been your biggest takeaway from having Steph Gilmore broken down? Leave it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to us yet on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you get notified as soon as the next video is out. But until the next video, get out there and catch some waves.